Hi, this is the overview for the final lesson in Judges and in Samson. These lessons are full of very clear teaching on God's love, His patience with sin, and His willingness to hear us when we pray. We should repent and come to Him. Our hero for this lesson never seems to repent. There's also very clear teaching that if we keep sinning and keep putting the Lord to the test, He allows us to fall or get caught, and we come under judgment. Sunday School, you have the Acts of Samson. Samson makes no decisions to honor God or to be a leader for the people to lead them back to God. He's actually a very terrible example. What we see is God having to use Samson in spite of himself. Samson could have gathered the army of Israel against the Philistines. He could have led the men of Judah in prayer, and they could have had a great victory. Take time to ask the children what Samson could have done, or ask them what they would have done. Ask what God would like us to do. It probably doesn't look like killing people with the jawbone of a donkey or being very selfish. Children's Church, you actually have two lessons, but you can make them one. Samson finds the woman at Gaza, and then he finds Delilah, and then he's caught, and then dies, taking many Philistines with him. One of the contrasts here is between God's love for us and love for Samson, and how we show that love back. Since Samson doesn't obey, it seems that God can't really break through to Samson. Samson never seems to show repentance or thankfulness to God. Also, in these stories, Samson's confidence, his fearlessness, and his pride are very visible. Jesus personally promises proud people that God will humble them. Samson's pride in ignoring God will get Samson into a lot of trouble, from which he will never recover. God is always asking us to come to him. That's his love for us, and his love knows no end. Yet we can certainly get ourselves into deep, deep trouble. At the end of this lesson, Samson has lost his sight and prays to the Lord, and the Lord hears him. That's great. But notice what Samson prays for. He prays for vengeance, not for God's glory or for the safety of God's people. Samson remains focused on himself until the end. Most of the children will understand that when we know Jesus' love, we live for him out of that love. That's just being grateful and thankful. And then, as Jesus lived his life for others, so do we. My suggestion for the end of the lesson is to read through Isaiah 53. It's hard to find a clearer portrayal of how deeply the Father and the Son love us. Clearly, if we're grateful, we should love him and follow. Thanks for teaching our children. Maranatha.